Hey guys, welcome to my page. I'm Audio Monkey, and today I'm going to be talking about ADSR Sample Library Manager. If you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. I drop Afrobeats tutorial videos, and I also drop general music production related videos. So guys, without wasting much time, I'm going to be talking about this amazing free sample library manager. Um, this literally changed my life from and it's amazing. It's uh, basically it's um, a VST that helps that analyzes your sample library, and it it categorizes them into different sections, right? So you can literally come to this part. You know, um, this is your like your library section that has like my packs and everything. So the same way it's arranged. Like in my FL Studio sample browser, it's the same way it's arranged here. But then you can actually go here. And as you can see, there are different tags. You know, so if I click this, for instance, let me click um, Bell. As all samples in my library that are tagged like that, named Bell or whatever, they pop up. So this is one shots, loops, everything. You feel me? They pop up. And this is really helpful, you know. Because aside the general tags, categorizing the instruments into different sections, like uh, the drums, the perks, and the actual like keys and other types of instruments, it also tags them by their key too. You feel me? So, um, and also ADSR um, Sample Library Manager has its own like store where you can get stuff, but I don't even use it at all. Like it's it's kind of similar to Splice. You feel me? So you can search for sounds in your part that are like in the same type of um, style of music you're working on, and you can take those sounds, literally drag them, and put them in your playlist. But what I like to use it for is for my production. You know purposes like my own I, I like to use it to search for samples that i can use while i'm working on the go so let's say i have a loop i want to show you how useful adsr sample library manager is to me personally i want to try and see if i can do something real quick so let's say i have a random loop right um let me see So yeah, this is a loop in the key of A minor. And let's say I like this loop and I want to build on this, right? But I want to add more, you know, like random instruments, random sounds. And I want to see what sounds I have in my sample library that I can incorporate into this project and use with this loop. I can just come right here to the top part. And because this is AM, which stands for A minor, I can just type A M I N right there and I press enter and in seconds I have a bunch of loops and samples in the key of A minor that I can preview and I can just search all these loops and see which of them might be able to go with this loop I have here in the playlist. So this takes, at times, it might, you know, of course, you need to go through different samples and you need to see which works and all that. But it's a really, really powerful tool that can really help you to change your game. And um, it's really helped me personally. So I just felt like I was going to talk about this and do a video about it. So let's see if we can find a loop here that would actually sound nice with this one that is on the playlist.
so guys, as you can see, this bass line actually doesn't sound too bad. There are actually some notes in this bass line. I could literally take this bass line here. Um, I could I could do this. I could drag it out, put it on my playlist, and I could chop out different parts of this bass line that fit this chord progression. And I already have a chord progression and a bass line. And I just did that in seconds because this tool helped me uh, it helped me go through my really, really large library. My library is so large. Like, I have over 100 gig or 200 gig worth of samples and all the different stuff. So, it's really large and it's difficult to go through all these samples. So, the ADSR sample library manager, really, really, it's free, guys. It's 100% free and it's so powerful. And this is one tool that I see myself, I use every single day when I'm producing these days. So, guys, um... I hope you like it. I hope you check it out. And it's um, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in the description so you can copy it yourself. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you are happy to learn about this new tool. Um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. I'll be dropping more videos for you guys. And until we meet again, guys, stay safe. Peace.